Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Rachel Klein and I will be your presenter for the next 20 minutes. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to add families and individuals in the membership module. So on page 10 in the Membership 101 workbook, um, there are some pages I'm going to skip through here, honestly. I'm just kind of using this as a guide because um, some of it doesn't really pertain to adding families, but it's useful information. So feel free to look through that on your own time. But I do want to focus in just for the 20 minutes, specifically adding the families and the different fields you might want to take note of while doing that. All right, let's open up membership. So something I want, a couple things I want to point out before I actually start the process. Uh, the first thing is a blank data entry form that we have. So this is really handy anytime you have a new family joining your church. You can print out a blank data entry form, either our default template or you can customize one on your own and have hand it to these new people and they can then fill out the information that you specifically need and then once they turn it back into you you have all your information you need to put right in for that family okay so let me show you that first so up here under reports other you're gonna go to blank data entry now when this report window pops up it's going to default to one of our templates so if you're familiar with reporting in church windows at all we have a lot of template reports available to you and with those template reports you can use it as it as it comes or you can go in and you can customize it to get it specific to what you need okay so right here at the top under layout it says template basic blank data entry all right so I can hit print here and it's going to do just that. It's going to give me all of my different fields available for the family record. So along with their mailing label as they want to see it, like Mr. and Mrs. Bob Smith, all their address information, any alternate address information, and then the individuals that make up the family. Now this report you can customize. If you want to get very specific for individual information, like you want to include people's birthday, marriage date, confirmation, baptism date, whatever it might be, you can come in here and make a new report and then using the column selector move the fields to the right that you want visible or you want included on the report okay we're not going to get into that today because that's more reporting but we have a lot of good webinars at churchwindows.com you can go out and view that for how to set up a new report to get this very specific fields you want to see for adding new people again this is a great form to do it like a new member class or when you get some visitors coming in hand this out they fill it in and you have the information right at your fingertips to then easily put into church windows okay all right let's go into people the next point I want to talk about is categories so this is pretty important when you get church windows for the first time initially you are going to get two possible categories that you can assign to your people Okay, you're going to get a member category and you're going to get a visitor category. So if we look up here in the top left, it says this family's category. You can see right now you can either assign them a member or a visitor category. Now, if you want to create a new category, you can easily do that right here in this plus minus button. And you can make a new one. I'm going to make one for P. All that right for potential okay so this could be a code or a category we would assign to someone who has the they're a little more than a visitor but they're not quite a member yet so they have the potential of becoming a member you could also do s for staff so if you have staff um, or maybe people you hire singers or something like that for band you could create this staff code for those people you could still have them in your database but you would give them a different category so when you run reports you could omit that staff category if you wish okay again this is optional you don't have to do that you can just leave it as members as visitors but I wanted to show you where that option was for the categories before you start adding people okay so let's start then we're all the way to page 15 already let's add a new family I'm gonna do my family just as an example First thing we're going to do, say my family is starting to visit your church and you want to get us logged here into church windows. Top left, we're going to hit add family. 
even if you're just adding one person, it's a single person who's coming to your church, you still have to hit add family first, okay? This like creates the house, and then once the house is created, then you put the person or the multiple people into the household itself, okay? So I'm gonna hit add family. First thing you have to specify is what category this new family falls under, okay? I'm gonna choose visitor. I'm gonna say okay. So now that my visitor category is filled in, my family number is automatically assigned. This is an internal number, internal number the software is going to assign to every unit. You can't change it or manipulate it. It is what it is, okay? So 58, mailing label. I could type today, Mitchell and Rachel Klein. Okay, so the mailing label, that would be if you're going to address or fill out an envelope to someone, what name for the family do you want to see? That is your mailing label, okay? I'm going to come down here to address. You have to hit the little green plus sign first. Don't just type that in the box. Hit the green plus sign because you're going to have some good options here to really, really uh, personalize or specialize your address, okay? So I'm just going to put church windows address in here for now my zip code in okay it's going to default to whatever the church uh, zip code is and then it'll automatically fill in city state for you if you want to go in and customize some of your presets you can hit the little dot 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 button here and you can edit or change the ones you have saved in here okay to keep them similar keep them the same uh, any bulk mailing, if you do bulk mailing, you can come in here to this bulk mailing info tab, fill this out. If you don't do anything with bulk mailing, don't go there. <laughs> and then up at the top, you have your family alternate addresses. So say we have a house in Florida, which would be lovely. We could put our Florida address in here, and then we could put in when we're at that Florida address, and the software will be smart enough if you do a mailing at that time we're in Florida, it will then automatically go to our Florida address instead of our main family address, okay? Once you get that in there, say okay. And now over here on the left, you can see my address information is filled in. Next thing, phone number. That family phone number in there, it's now called primary phone number. And you can also check it as unlisted. So if you wish for it not to show up on your directory, you could check the unlisted box as well, okay? Now, back over here on the left, you have several tabs that you need to kind of look through and go through to see if you have information you need to put in for these people, okay? So the first tab is going to be the name tab or mailing label where this information shows. Family info, this is where you can fill in an alternate address. If you use mailing codes, you can do that. Geographic area, again, that's optional. And then these are some preset fields. If the field is gray, that means you can't change anything. So it's going to show me when this was created, last time it was updated. And if you use usernames, it would show the username that created or last updated this record. Okay. Comments, this is just an open text field. You could type in whatever you want in here about the family. This is a good place to put in some like family relations. Say my sister's family is part of this church as well and if my parents come here, you could type in some family relation information here so you know who's kind of tied to who. But again, it's just an open character field. You could put in whatever you wish. Then you have a photo field. So if you want to print a pictorial directory out of Church Windows, you can. I'll do a webinar on this next month. I'm working on getting those scheduled. Um, but you can upload a family photo here, and then you can print a pictorial directory if you wish. Other, this would be if you needed to link a child to this family. Okay, so say um, I have another child that lives somewhere else. If that were the case, you could put that child in the other household here in people, but then I could link so the child would show up on my family and someone else's family as well. And then files and documents. If you have any documents or files you want to attach to this family specifically, you could do that here by adding a file, okay? So say you need like a, a health release form or you wanna attach a, a marriage certificate or baptism certificate, something like that, you can use these files and documents tab to do so, okay? And then to get back to the first tab, 
you just go back to the one that has the name and that brings you back here. Okay, so that's getting the family side, the house created. Now we have to put the people in it that make up this household, okay? So I'm gonna come over here on the right and I'm gonna hit add individual. And I'm going to put first name in here. So I'm gonna put my husband, Mitchell. Title, say Mr. Nickname, he goes by Mitch. Use nickname, I'm gonna check that. Middle name. Brian. Okay, now you really only need first name, last name, but if you have the informa other information, maybe because you passed out that blank data entry form, feel free to fill that in. But only thing you really need up here is going to be first name, last name. Okay. Now down here on the lower section, these are your individual fields. These are completely customizable, okay? So if you want to change the order of these fields, you want to remove some fields or you want to create new fields down here, maybe you have some extra information you want to track that's not already included in the software, you can do that over here on the right by clicking customize fields, okay? That's going to open up a new window here where you can really get in and customize these options, okay? So once we get that in, the only field down here that the software requires, whether they are a member or a visitor or staff or potential, whether they're on the directory or not on the directory, you have to have this directory report order filled in. Okay, software will make you do this, okay? This tells the computer, or this tells the software, who's who within your family, okay? So specifically when you're running reports, like a directory or an anniversary or a birthday report, any report you're gonna run in church windows, it's going to look at this field to know who's who in your family. So I'm going to give Mitch primary, and you don't have to have them on the directory. Say my, we don't want us in the directory yet, that's fine. You can leave this box unchecked, but you have to have this directory slash report order field filled in. So the program knows who's who within the family, okay? I'm gonna come up here and hit save to make sure Mitch gets saved in there. And then anything else you know, you can come right through this list and you can fill in, okay? Any field that has a Dropbox, it is set up as a list field, so you can pick something from the list. Or you can come in here to the pencil, the little plus minus, this is your edit. You can come in here and you can customize these fields. Say there's not a field that fits this person, you could make a new one. Um, you could make some fields inactive if they're no longer in use. Um, but anywhere, anytime you see the pencil, that's where you can edit or adjust the fields themselves, okay? And then family relation, you can go through here and you can fill in as much as you know about these people. Maybe you don't know much, that's okay. Fill in what you do and then you you'll always come back here and add to the record or make changes at any time, okay? So now that we have Mitch filled in, also, if you look over here on the left, you see name, age, and family relation. Now, age is calculated based on someone's birthday. So if I go ahead and put Mitch's birthday in here and save it, the software will calculate his age for us. Now you can see Mitch is 33, okay? So for the age to be calculated, you have to have a completed birthday filled in. All right, so let's go up here and I'm gonna add myself. Rachel, I don't have a nickname, middle name, status, active, we'll do wife. My directory report order is going to be secondary. Every household will only have one primary, so if it's the only person in the household, they will automatically be the primary, but if it's a couple, typically it's someone is primary, then the other is secondary. And then anything else you know, feel free to come down here and fill all of these fields in that you know, and then save it. All right, and now I'm over here and my age is filled in, okay? Now I have two boys as well. We're going through the same process here. I know it's pretty repetitive, but you'll get faster at it. Put my kids in, and middle name, and then anything else I know about them applies.
pretty straightforward. Now their directory report order, because they're my children, are going to be three, child with family, okay? Same thing here, fill in what you know, and save. And then now Eli's going to pop down here on the left, okay? And then I have my other son, bear with me, I only got two kids. Uh, fill this in, active, oh, where's child, here we go, direct reporter, now he's also a three, so you can have more than one three, depending on how many kids are in your family, whoop, he's a male, here we go, date of birth, all right, and that's it. Pretty straightforward. So you start with your household on the left. On the right, you go through and you add in each family member. So if you have four family members, you're going to be hitting this add individual button four times. Okay. Now, let's talk about these tabs over here across the top. I'm going to go back to my record here. Across the top here, we have several tabs similar to what we had on the left. These tabs are specific to the individual whose record you have selected. So right now I have myself selected, okay? Now if I go to the groups and classes tab, this is going to allow me to set what groups and classes I'm involved in, okay? So right here it says click here to add a new row. Simply click here and I'll just say parents for a Sunday school class and then I'll also put myself in a Bible study, okay? Start date, end date, the rest of these fields are optional. I do have a more in-depth webinar I did on this. Uh, you can find it on the Resource Center if you want to watch about setting up groups and classes and assigning them. But this is where you can quickly pop somebody into a group or class on their individual record. Okay. Skills and interests. I'm kind of into computers here. So I'm going to say I'm interested in computers. And since I know Church Windows, I'm going to say I can also do data entry. Okay, and again, these are all things you can have on that Blake data entry form you give to new people. So it's going to be real simple to pop this information for them. The address slash phone slash email field down here at the bottom. This is going to be like an easy a little Rolodex for you, if you will. So if I had a cell phone filled in and if I had an email filled in, you could easily see that information right here on this tab. So you could see my contact information just at a glance. Also up here at the top, if me specifically, so just Rachel had an alternate address, you would put that individual alternate address here. If the family has an alternate address, you would do it here. But if it's just the individual, you would do that here. So say you have a college-age child in a family who's living in a dorm for part of the year, you could put that child's alternate address right here and then it would email or excuse me mail create a label for that alternate address for just that person okay comments again open text field type in whatever you want here that is specific to rachel klein photo say i'm on the finance committee and you want to put something together that is print a pictorial directory of just the people on the finance committee or the welcome committee, whatever it might be, you could put just my individual photo here. And then same thing, files and documents. If I have my confirmation certificate, my baptism certificate, whatever it might be, you could add the file and those files would be stored on my specific record. Okay. All right. That is everything I wanted to go over with you guys today.